Hey planner friends, in this video I'm going to make this really cute weight loss tracker for my classic size happy planner and I want to walk you through that entire process. We're going to make this on the computer and then print it out on a uh, note paper for the happy planner. So we're going to start off in Canva. If you do not have Canva yet, please get it. You can do this for free, but you're going to go to custom sizes. Make sure you change it from pixels to inches. And then that's the dimensions that I put in for a classic size happy planner. So you might have to change that depending on what size you want to make. Once this loads, which my computer was being super slow, I'm going to add in a quote that I found and um, I've already, I think I copied it off of something and then I'm just gonna paste it onto here. And then I'm gonna play around with this and get it in the right, with the right fonts that I want. There's two different fonts I'm gonna use. You guys will be able to see them here. Most of these fonts that I have that I use, I got off of Etsy and I uploaded them into Canva. Now to upload fonts, you do have to have the pro version. And there's also some elements in here that I use that require the, the uh, pro version, um, but it's worth it. I think Canva is like $12.95 a month or something like that. It is absolutely worth it. If you uh, wanna make custom inserts for your planner, but you don't, maybe you're not like super, super crafty and creative and you just would rather do this digitally. Maybe you like to memory keep or, uh, you know, kind of scrapbooking kind of thing digitally, even to do things digital digitally. I cannot talk tonight. Anyways, please get Canva. Okay. It's worth the 13 bucks. It's even worth it. If you don't want to pay the $13 Canva has hundreds of fonts and you can definitely find two really, really cute fonts. So what I was doing is I had the regular font and then I had a cursive font or calligraphy, I guess. And I kind of, there were certain words that I wanted to pop in that calligraphy font. So here I'm going through and kind of doing that. I don't have everything sized yet. If you guys um, hang out here with me for a minute, you'll see me resize everything, move things around. The best way that I have found in Canva is just to copy and paste whenever you're doing quotes and you're trying to change um, certain elements in there. I hope that makes sense. And here's where I'm going through and sizing everything down. I obviously don't want the quote to take up the entire page, but something that I was thinking that would be super cool. I am obsessed with vellum. I love it so stinking much. It's this like really cool um, craft paper, I guess. I don't really know what it is, if I'm being honest. But anyways, I love vellum. You can get it at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Amazon, um, but it would be cool to use Canva to create like say inside of your weight loss planner or even just your regular planner, create a quote page just as like a decorative element and then print that on vellum. Or if you have a printer that doesn't smear easily, mine kind of does, but there's like that, oh my gosh, I'm going to talk about it and I don't know the exact name of it. It's like plastic or like acrylic type stuff that you could definitely use your happy planner punch to punch holes in. And that would be cute because those are clear and you could, um, print on that and create something cool for your planner. Just some ideas I wanted to throw out there. I love vellum. I love using different types of paper stuff, I guess. 
I mean, I, I'm not a professional. I don't know the names of any of this stuff, clearly. But I do like to use them. That's just kind of something I wanted to throw out there. Okay, we're gonna super speed this up because it's taking forever to get through. You guys get the gist of what I'm doing, but once I get everything sized the way that I want it to and all the words the correct way, I'm going to group everything together and all you have to do is select everything. And you guys will see me do it here in just a second, but you select everything and then at the top, there's that bar up top, you can group everything together. And this allows you to move it around the entire page, resize all of it together so you're not having to resize individual elements. But right there, I grouped it. And then now you can see we can move the entire thing, resize the entire thing. So if you do a quote, make sure that you group it on there. And then I have a couple of uh, SVG files, I think, or maybe they're PNG. I'm not 100% for sure. Got these off of Etsy. You guys, Etsy is the place to go for anything that you want digital. Got these off of Etsy and I thought they were super cute. Wanted to add them to it. And then we are going to, I was looking for dumbbells, but I ended up using kettlebells as a way to write in my weight as I lose weight. So I kind of sized these down <clears throat> thinking about being able to actually write inside of the kettlebells and it not being too big. Here, I just moved that one out of the way so I could group these ones together. And that makes it easier to move all of it. But also, if you lock, you guys will see me with her. I, I'm going to lock her there. So whatever else I click on, it's not going to get a hold of that girl up there in the top. So now we're going to add a header to this using that same font that I did, the calligraphy font in the quote. And then I'm going to start copying and pasting these kettlebells. And I'm going to put them around the girls and the quote. All right, from here, we're gonna download this and we are gonna print it. So we're gonna hit share, click download, leave it as a PNG. Sometimes I mess with the size thing, but you really don't have to. I actually don't know what it does. And then you just click download. And then once it opens up, this is the preview page on a MacBook. So then from here, I'm just gonna hit my command P that brings up the print screen. And we are going to change the paper size. Find the one that is as close to whatever size planner you're printing this out for. I'm finding the one that is as close to a classic size happy planner. For my printer, that's a B5. I don't imagine that that's gonna be different on every single printer on the paper size. I honestly don't know. I don't wanna steer you wrong there, but I think, I would imagine anyways, that every printer has all the different printer page sizes that you can do. So B5 for a classic happy planner. So then we're just going to put our paper inside of our printer. Now, something else that you have to think about, once you learn this, it just, it's like second nature. How does your, your printer pull the paper through and which side is it going to print on? If you have to print on a test sheet first to see, like you can just write on it top, bottom, and then print it, and you'll be able to see which side it's going to print on. So here, I'm just gonna take all that paper out that I had in there. Now my printer will pull it through and print on the top. So whatever, it'll print on like, if I lay it face down, it prints on the face down part. And I've learned that over time of trial and error. So we're gonna stick that in there. And it just wants to know if I load it in plain paper and I always say yes. Go back to our print screen and we're going to hit print. And then from there, our tracker will print out. You guys, the best part about this is 
this opens up so many ideas at least I hope it does I hope it gives you some inspiration for different things that you guys can create inside your planner tracker at planner pages if you guys want to make a custom planner you absolutely could so many different options so now we're just going to stick this inside of my classic happy planner yes I have a brace on my wrist let me tell you pulling patients up in bed really is hard on the joints and I have tendonitis and so trying to keep it in a neutral position here this is my classic size happy planner I'm going to stick it right behind my vision board and now I have a cute little weight loss tracker inside of my planner so I can keep track of my goals Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.